Hi everyone. Welcome to our first masterclass, our first coffee masterclass. We are on this beautiful place called Villa Vita Park. Today is a really sunshiny day and we are almost ready to receive our customers at Villa Vita Park. This place we are today is called V-Life Store. It's a store where we use 100% Portuguese products. Well, the best products you cannot find it here. Also, we have a store online. Uh, my name is Veras, I'm the bar manager, and uh, we are here to talk about coffee. Coffee today comes uh, a routine. Every morning, millions of people drink coffee. You remember your granddad read the newspaper and have a cup of coffee. Today, coffee comes a trend. Millions of coffee shops are burning and a lot of varieties of coffee. Uh, the people drink coffee for many reasons. Someone just for get energy, someone just, just have a chance to talk with the friends around a cup of coffee. Uh, that's why we create this masterclass. Uh, today, uh, we have all these situations about learning about coffee, buying coffee. When we go to a coffee shop, we don't know what to choose. So many brands, so many varieties, so many types, colors, prices, I mean, the coffee are getting complex and we are here to help you. That's why I invite two great baristas from our team. Uh, we have a coffee shop at the Elevita Park and these two beautiful couple, Marianne is our barista and also Fabio Moreira. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit with Marianne. Marianne, why is coming your passion? Why you choose coffee? And what moves you to be a barista at Villa Vita Park? Um, thank you for inviting me, first of all. And um, I, ca um, I started my friendship with coffee like about six years ago, when I started to work in a bar in Estonia. And before I could even start, I needed to do a training for the espresso machine. And it turned out to be quite long and full of details. And I started to realize that to make a good cup of coffee, you just don't need water and coffee. You need a little bit of knowledge as well. Um, after that, I was making coffee for many years without knowing anything about the coffee itself. Just knew how to make a good coffee. But since last year, I started to work here in Villa Vita. I joined, joined the barista team in Cafe Bica. And they had so many different coffees here. And uh, I didn't know too much about it. So I started to research and it got me really interested in the coffee. So for now, I'm learning every day a little more and more about the coffee. I know that because I, I work <laughs> with uh, with Marianne also. Well, Fabio is our head head barista, and also come from north of Portugal, but he's here already a few years. Fabio, uh, you know already the coffee is complex, and what's what's move you to follow this passion? Why why every day come to work and why you skip learning and studying coffee? Well, Beres, thank you, thank you very much, and thank you all. Then. Uh, to give you this opportunity to speak about me, our team, and uh, our my passion, actually. Well, starts a bit uh, a long time ago because I was in the school, and I was not a coffee drinker. But a small competition gave me a, a challenge, and I I love challenge. So, coffee actually it's a challenge because, like my colleague says, it's a drink that you need to learn every day because. Every day or every year comes different coffees, different ways to make it. Everyone have their own uh, way to make coffee. And that's why my passion starts because it's a challenge. And I like it uh, because it's not something that you do the same every day. Of course, we have our routine. We drink coffee in the morning, afternoon, uh, in the evening. But it's something that you need to learn a little bit more. And that's what happens nowadays well i think we are missing here something i don't know if you at home have a cup of coffee with you but we don't fabio 
what what do you think about to make a nice coffee for us? Will be a pleasure. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna make the coffee. I'm gonna speak with Marianne. Marianne. Every day, millions of people go to the supermarket and they want to choose a coffee. The truth is, uh, many people don't know what they're gonna buy. Can you teach a little bit what we should find on the market? So help us to buy a good coffee. Um, yes, it's a good question. Um, if I would personally go to a grocery store or to a coffee shop to buy coffee, the first thing I would look at is definitely the variety of the coffee. Um, as we know, there is two widely more uh, produced coffees in the world, which are called Robusta and Arabica. So these are the two options we will choose between. And uh, the main difference between them is that Robusta, uh, it is easier to produce. Uh, there is more Robusta in, than Arabica in the world. And it has uh, more nutty taste, more groundy taste, and also has more caffeine. So it's a good base for the blend, uh, blended coffees. Then we have Arabica coffee, which grows in higher altitudes. It is uh, more fruity from the taste and also has more acids. So if I would uh, buy a coffee for a filtered coffee or any kind of pour over coffee, I would definitely choose an Arabica coffee. Very well. Well, we have here so different beans. Mm -hmm. uh, about these beans, what we, we, we can, what difference between like when you say about Arabica and Robusta, there any difference about the beans? Uh, what do yes. I expect if I buy a Arabica? What I expect for a Robusta? How they taste? I mean, uh, what's just a small difference? What what they are different? Um, for, well, first they look different. As you can see, we have here Arabica coffees. They are all Arabicas, and uh, they are more. Uh, they are not so rounded. They are more like oval, but uh, Robustas are normally o uh, rounded coffees. And also, the dif uh, difference is in the color. So we have here the um, uh, Arabica coffee as a green coffee. Uh, why I can say that is that uh, you can see it's green. But uh, normally the Robusta coffee is more yellowish and um, more rounded as well, yes. Well, I see some beans are different colors, but we're going to talk with that with Fabio. Yes. Uh, well, I think now we understand a little bit about Arabica and mm -hmm. Robusta. That's the, the two things we need to, to do. Of course, uh, we have more about coffee. Fabio, uh, yeah. I know you already understand a lot about uh, the colors, the greener. Uh, can you finish this coffee? Yes, sure. Uh, Fabio, can we? Yeah. yeah. Fabio. Uh, when I go to the market, I see different colors of beans. Yes. Uh, can you tell about why they are so different in color? Like, these ones are lighter, these ones are darker. Why Why they are these colors? Why they are different? All right. So, Pérez, like my colleague shows, the the color then comes from a sherry. I don't know if the, our viewers know, but a coffee comes from a small sherry, then grows up in a tree and normally comes two beans in each sherry so that's why they come with this color and after depends also in um, the, the process then we give to the coffee about the colors uh, means the, the color depends what you want to give to the coffee what I want to say with that so as soon as you roasting coffee you are giving to the coffee characteristics then you're gonna find after and a cupping taste. The lighter ones you can get at a coffee depend of the region of course and the climate well everything will influence the coffee in a, in a final product but the colors also will influence a bit in a, in a final result so the lighter one uh, we started with the well the lighters I can say with the lighters we goes to the medium and after we pass to the to the darker to the darkest one 
The lighter we choose normally for uh, filter coffees or pour overs. I don't know if the, our viewers uh, have uh, opportunity to, to taste them. But it's a really good way to, to drink coffee in home because normally in the morning we need some energy for the, the rest of the day. And the pour overs or the filter coffees gives that energy because the caffeine uh, are in the water, not in the coffee. So much more water than you put in the coffee, much more caffeine you're going to get it. But this means uh, they are sweeteners? Well, when they are less, less uh, roasted or how it is? Not, not, not the medium one gives sweetness. Uh, we can say then all the roast uh, gonna give yeah. uh, something to the coffee. Uh, we can found it in all of them: uh, sweet, uh, bitter, and uh, acidity. Yeah. Because normally uh, depends of the the variety that you are using. But the arabica normally you can found more floral and fruity notes than robusta. Uh, as normally in Portugal, we drink Robusta because it's uh, the strongest and the, the darkest ones. But nowadays, the people are understanding a little bit more about coffees and they are going to the lighter ones because they know that they can find a bit uh, a bit more. You can find in Robusta, but in Arabic, you can find more the floral and the fruity notes. That's why I bring it this these two to compare it because one, the commercial coffees, then we call uh, in our language, in the barista language, we call it commercial and uh, specialty coffees. Normally, the commercial are more darker. Why? Because it's more stronger and that's what the people want to, to taste. They think then, then they have more caffeine, but it's not true. We can speak a little bit more in our in other in other streams. We can speak a little bit more about that, but it's not the the, the true list. That means when you say stronger, it means about taste, no caffeine. I mean about taste, no caffeine. No caffeine. Yes. I mean, I really love. Uh, I need caffeine every day in my morning. Yeah. I mean, the darker gives me caffeine or no? Or well, the lighter. Well, both of them will give you caffeine. That's what I'm saying. Depends of the the way that you want to taste it. In the morning, normally the people like something with energy. They need energy for the rest of the day. So I advise to taste a pour over. Why? Have more water. Uh, yeah. They extract more things from the coffee. Actually, more caffeine. So yeah. if you taste a short, like a, a cortado or an yeah, espresso, yeah. Uh, they give you. A strongest taste, but not more caffeine. That's that's what I'm speaking about the colors. But that means you recommend us uh, a, medi a medium roast. Yeah, medium roast is okay for all the methods. Of course, in, in a coffee machine, have pressure. Then you don't have it in the other in the other ways. So it should be medium dark or even close to the medium, but not too much dark. Depends of the variety that you use. Yeah. Well. Normally, I, when I go to market, I see many labels. Yeah. Some ones are just saying uh, the name, and some ones are just saying the, the country. Yeah. I mean, what that means? Why someone's saying the country, and other ones just say no country? Okay. Why? why, why? I mean, well, I, I will tell about, again, the barista's language. Normally, in the labels, we expect to see uh, the variety, uh, the country then they comes because every country, uh, well, the, the, the producer countries, uh, all of them have different characteristics, different temperatures, different altitudes. Yeah. So everything will influence in, uh, in the, the, the result. So in the labels, normally we expect to, to see all the characteristics that we need to know. Origin, altitude, the process of... Um, the process of uh, uh, the coffee pass through through your cup. So you need to know uh, when you try to find the coffee in the market, you should know a little bit what you're gonna find in your cup. So flavors, the 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 producer can give you a guide. You don't need to, f to follow that guide, but they will give you. Well, will be a citrus floral. Depends you. I can say it then this coffee have a, a lemon touch, but probably you cannot find a lemon, you, you can find orange. But 
will be closer or will be citrus yeah. both of them so as soon as you go to the to the supermarket or even a, a roastery you should ask what process what process the coffee passed through uh when they came when they was roasted because the the date of the roastering means the freshness of the coffee so you should know if the coffee was roasting like a week ago so it's on the point to to taste them because they need to uh, they need to have a time before it's uh, consumed and well for me in my opinion when i went to the market i should ask the process and the guide tastes so will be will be a, a beginning to to know what it comes but in a mic so, up but when we see the country that country means uh is local or is just for one small area or not 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 a blend? I mean, it's different from a, a different one. I mean, we should recommend, we should buy uh, with the name, we'll say the country or not? Well, we I can say it and the people should know uh, to go to the market and to see what is saying in the labels, they should know a little bit about it. Uh, well, I can say it. Then you should buy a coffee from Ethiopia or from South of America. You should buy a coffee, then you like it. That's that's my 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 opinion. How is the coffee, Marianne? Almost ready. Almost ready. Yes. So okay, you're gonna finish the coffee, and you, I'm <laughs> I'm really anxious to have a nice cup of coffee. We're gonna get. Please, Marianne, come here. Fabio, yes. you're gonna serve us a nice coffee also. Marianne, uh, the next step is really uh, we talk about. Uh, this, the greening. Mm -hmm. What's what's the type of greening? What what you should? Can you tell a little bit about this system? We already know what the coffee from. We know already mm -hmm. the coffee beans. <laughs> we know what they are. But this area, we need to know more. What's what you have to say about? We also see your different colors. Uh, but how is important the green on the, on our cup of coffee? Um, it too. <coughs> Sorry. Um, when you are starting to do a filtered coffee, yeah. uh, you need more coarser coffee. So if you have a grinder at home, uh, it's perfect. You can uh, try to make more finer, more coarser, but it must be in the medium. Like, cannot be too fine because if you do it too fine, it, the water will pass too slowly and will be the coffee will be over extracted. If you do it too slow, it will be under extracted. Um, or if you have it too coarse and the water will go too fast, then will be under extracted. Um, oh, this one is a fine this one. This one yeah? is uh, what we use for this coffee, the siphon coffee that we are making at the moment. So, as you can see, it's more or la less like a table salt from the texture. And it's perfect to make filtered coffee, to make V60, KMX, and uh, most of the, most of the pour overs, yeah. yes. And, um, but if you don't have a grinder at home and you have to buy already grinded coffee, then normally on the... On the package of the coffees, they say which kind of coffee, which method it's for. Um, and also, if you go, if you come to Cafe Pica to buy coffee, then uh, if you don't have a grinder at home, we are happy to grind it for you yeah, yeah. for whatever method you want. <laughs> That's good. Well, the coffee are are coming almost. It's almost. Yeah. I think we have a few minutes to yeah. to answer some questions. I don't know. Well, if you have any question at home, please, and or our uh, YouTube, you can or Instagram, you can talk about talk with us. If you have any questions? Uh, I'm gonna show more or less what we have our feel of it in our coffee shop. We have different varieties, but first, just you to know, important to know about the coffee on the shop about. The, the, the color of the, the bean, where the beans are coming from, like Arabica, Robusta. You can choose now, we have different colors. The green things is very important, the types of different types of coffee you do at home. And now, uh, just show you a few brands we have at Villa Vita Park. Now we have uh, 
like the difference coffee is our specialty coffee you can see from a jamaica blue mountain is one a very famous uh espresso roast is really top one we also have uh another one sorry there's so many ones another one from ethiopia it was also very very express roast sorry we tried to find the best position for the camera is all right now technical problems uh well royal Ramnes is a, a brand we have in portugal they roast the coffee in portugal and they produce for villa vita park there's a is a brazil one you see coming here the profile the tasting the fruity chocolates coming all 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 the details we need to buy there's also a buy online on villa vita park like another one from tanzania in another part of the world but uh is really uh, i think you i can see at home uh we have also another one from colombia colombia is also a decaffeinated coffee it's also espresso road roast and we also have a, a very famous in portugal our delta is a portuguese brand very famous in portugal we also have this coffee available in our coffee shops uh so let me just and we also have uh our barista they make it at home our cold brew is coming in our big fashion it's a trend now with fruits now is springtime and seasonal and you can have also a cold brew with tonic water is really makes our difference every afternoon here on, the, on our terrace well we already see we all have all this and fabio where is the coffee yeah, it's ready. Come on, let's May talk I invite about you to taste them? So, as first of all, the ladies. Ladies first, that's just me. So, first of all, I will speak about the coffee. This... What what I should expect when I drink a cup of coffee? What what should be the experience of the coffee? Well, first of all something then you can see it this is not a clear cup but uh, you can see first of all the 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 first thing then i then i look for it's the clear coffee or the color then the coffee comes normally for a, a pour over or uh, well filter filter copies normally it's uh, a coffee a clear cup so it's not to 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 dark the color of the coffee but no means then as less body Actually, for me, it's uh, something that you can find in the pour over. It's a full body coffee uh, with a lot of flavors uh, and actually depends on the variety that you use. So you should expect to see uh, a, clear, a clear cup of coffee uh, with, um, with full of flavors, of course. Uh, after, after all, the smell it should smell floral creamy taste and after you go to the to the cupping so you can taste it and tell me what you think this coffee is from ethiopia so should i should expect to get it a citrus floral taste close that so taste it and see what yeah, you think yeah. and the texture is also very bright and and, and smooth when we exactly so yeah this kind of coffees, like the siphons and all the pour overs, you should expect to get a full body coffee uh, yeah, yeah. as you can not find in other machine espresso cups. That's good. It's a fantastic cup of coffee. Yeah, it's very well, good. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Please subscribe our channel on YouTube or Instagram. Uh, any questions for us? I think well, we have a question. See. Yeah, I think we have a question well, from oh, Mr. Well, well, Oscar Correa. Thank you, Oscar, for your asking. Uh, well, Oscar asking you as guys, what are the novelties about coffee this year? What do you think is going to be a trend? I mean, that's what you mean for for Oscar. Yeah, I think I. I mean, well, the 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 novelty drink. I think uh, here in Portugal, because outside, I think it is already a trend. It's a cold brew. That's why I bring a, a new product here in Cafe Vica, because we created a few a few types of cold brew 
uh, with a tonic water because I think it will be a really fresh drink uh, for the summer and we mm. are in a, uh, a place then we should get uh, the cold, coldest drink. So yeah. I, I think cold brew will be um, a trend this year here in Portugal because outside yeah. is already, is already oh, a good. trend. Oscar, I think we answered to you. Oh, Oscar, say again, uh, what's the ratio about uh, ground coffee and uh, water quality? I mean, what could be the percentage of coffee and water? How, how we could measure that? Well, in my opinion, depends yeah. of the person that are doing. Uh, normally, uh, I do it, uh, well, 30 for, five, for 15 to 200 and 250 so milliliters. Like 60 grams per, per liter. liter. So 60 grams per liter. It's a medium. But the people should taste a little bit more coffee, a little bit less, and find a properly ratio for everyone. I think the medium it's already fine for everyone. Uh, yeah. You you go find we're gonna find the flavors also. But I think you should taste the different grind coffees and the different ratios yeah, to, yeah. to to be perfect for you. Well, thank you, thank you, Oscar, for your questions. It's very important for us to be participated. Well, thank you very much, Marianne. Fabio, it was a pleasure to have this conversation with you. I'm sorry I was a bit nervous. It was my mm -hmm. first time on this. But uh, I want just to say thank you very much for the people who are following us. Uh, it's very important for us to be part of this community and sharing to, uh, to you what we are doing at Villa Vita. Uh, I hope now, after this, you know a little bit more to understand coffee. And uh, next Thursday, at the same time, we are here to talk about the making of the coffee. Any questions you need to know, we are uh, our baristas are available to exp to uh, to contact you or you to re answer you about about uh, what we are doing, and uh, you can be using your coffee at home as a professional with our guidance. Please, thank you very much, and have a nice cup of coffee, and see you soon at Villa Vita Park. Goodbye.